Good morning, kids. Welcome to another week of The Kingdom for Kids. I hope you are having a great day. I am really excited to be with you today. How many of you have a sweet tooth and love sweet things like candy? I'm sure lots of you said yes, but there are some of you that would rather have something salty, like chips or popcorn. Well, today we are talking about the verses in the Bible where Jesus tells us to be salt and light. We will learn that God shines his light through us. Let's read the first part of the verse that talks about salt. Jesus says, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. In this verse, Jesus is talking about how those who believe in him are to be the salt of the earth. But what does that mean? Well, in Bible times, they used salt to preserve meat because it kills germs. They used salt to make sure the meat didn't go bad before they could eat it. It also was used to clean or purify things. Jesus wants us to be salt of the earth so that we can show people that they can turn from the dirtiness of their sin and that God can forgive them for all of those things and make them clean again. We are supposed to be the salt, but we don't want to be watered down because then we wouldn't be salty anymore. We are to live in the dark and sinful world, but not follow the bad and sinful ways of the world. How many of you eat soup? I do. Soup is really nice and salty and delicious, and it feels great on a sore throat. But if you were to water it down, it wouldn't be salty anymore and wouldn't taste good at all. As God's people, we need to be the salt and not watered down by the things in the world that take away our love for Jesus in our lives. Jesus should always be first in our lives and the one that we love the most. When we believe in Jesus, that means that we know that Jesus died and rose again so that we can have eternal life. And so we want to put him first in our lives. Now let's talk about how Jesus tells us to be light. He says, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and give light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Jesus says that we are the light of the world. The world is a very dark place, full of sin, but we are the light. We are to shine the light of Jesus so that everyone can see it. We don't want to hide what Jesus has done for us. Jesus says not to hide the light, but instead put it where everyone can see it because God's light shines through us. Imagine you're with your family in a really dark cave with no light, so you can't see anything. Someone in your family has a flashlight, but they are holding a piece of cardboard or a pillow in front of it, so it doesn't shine anymore. That wouldn't work, would it? The light from the flashlight couldn't do what it was supposed to do. The same is true for us with Jesus in our lives. He tells us to let our lights shine so that everyone can see what we do so that God is glorified. We don't do things so that people like us or think that we're great people. Instead, we obey God so that those around us look to God and how good He is. We want to love others and be kind to those who are mean to us because it makes God happy and everyone can see His love in us. We also need to tell people of what God has done for us. We want to live the way that Jesus tells us to because we love God and want others to have life forever with God in heaven too. Let's talk to Jimmy and Mr. Alfred. Wow, Mr. Alfred, you just missed Pastor Joel's lesson this morning. Oh, also I'm here to pick up my cookies for lunch. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jimmy. I'm sad I missed it. But first, what did you learn this morning? Well, we talked about salt and light and how we are the salt and light to the world. That sounds like a great lesson. Yeah, but it was hard. It sounds like a lot of things that I need to do. Why is that? Well, it feels like I'm just following the rules. Believing in Jesus is way better than following the rules. How is that, Mr. Alfred? Well, we do need to be obedient and do what Jesus tells us to, but it isn't because he tells us to. We do it because we love Jesus and are thankful for what he has done for us. And Jesus changes our hearts and gives us strength to do what makes God happy. 
So you don't want me to just change the way I act? That's right. I want you to believe in Jesus and what he has done for you. We do good things because we love God and want to make him happy. Is that why you are so nice to me, Mr. Alfred? Yes, Jimmy. I always want to show everyone the love of Jesus, even if it's hard. Aww. I want to do the same thing too, Mr. Alfred. I am so thankful that Jesus died on the cross for me. I want to be a light to the world so that they see Jesus too. That's great. God shines his light through us. Yep, maybe I'll go give some people cookies to show them the love of Jesus. Okay, Jimmy. Being generous does show others what Jesus has done for us. Yay! Cookies! 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 Thanks, Jimmy and Mr. Alfred. It is great news that we can be the salt and light of the world. Jesus calls us to live apart from the world. He doesn't want us to be like the world. He wants us to be salt and light. When we live in the world like Jesus calls us to and tell people of what Jesus has done for us, people around us will see that we are different. Because Jesus died on the cross for you and for me, Jesus calls us to be light to the world. I hope that you love God so much that you want to shine His light to all the people that you meet. I hope you have a great week remembering that God shines His light through us. Bye!